He always does. Ladies and gentlemen of Lowell and beyond, it is my pleasure to introduce the host of LTC Sessions, the Archduke of Market Street, the king of old media, the liberator of the oppressed, and defender of community standards, the massive media man, the master of circumstances, the first of his name, the suitably humble Maximus Sack. All right, all right, all right, Lowell, we're live yet again. And I'm telling you, it's a surprise party this month, and we've got a hell of a lot of surprises we have planned for you, and we have way too many we did not plan for. At of 8 a.m. this morning, we lost our viewing party. Double booking, it happens. We are now happening at Uncharted Gallery on Market Street. Check it out, go down there. Drink, eat, hang out, enjoy. We also got some guest stars. I know a lot of you have been saying, uh, you, you want the show to be more about Maximus Sack, and I don't blame you. I am pretty damn awesome. In fact, we got people in Lowell that are just watching the show to hear what I say. They're rewinding it. They're listening to it again. They're, they're just listening to everything, and they're reading into it, and there are some powerful messages coming out. And if they, you are one of those people, I got to tell you, unfortunately, you have a sack addiction problem. There's cures for it. I don't know if it's a cure, but you should get some serious help. I'm telling you, get help. And we brought in a counselor for you. We have a sack addiction counselor in Miss Pretty Stitches, who will be joining me now, my new uh, guest host. Anything you want to say, pretty lady? Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a sack addiction, I suggest you come and see me ASAP, and I will help you with that sack addiction. There you go. You heard it from the doctor. Not really a doctor. We are not advocating her medical advice. And without any further ado, it is surprise party! We're surprise party, and these are a few love songs we wrote just for you. I said you're gonna wait for me. You, you belong to me. Yeah, I belong to me. Yeah, I belong to me. Said I wanna scream and shout. Said I wanna scream. Near be a, near be a, near be a, near be a.
Everybody gets lost in their head sometimes. Look around, might just like what you find.
What's up, Lowell? I'm Michael F. Daly Jr. from Uncharted Gallery, and you're watching the LTC Sessions. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching LTC Sessions with Surprise Party. Yay! Hope you all enjoying yourself. This song's called Dreamin'. Where the hell 
But we never have enough. I know I tell you too much. I love you. I want you to go down with me. Just to get a fight Then an innocent film and we cried But we both denied it all night We always drink too much But we never have enough I know I tell you too I'm 
We're taking a break. We're going to interview these guys. We had uh, some footage lined up. We uh, brought it in from Paris. We had these French psychics talking some stuff. Unfortunately, it got confiscated. The footage got confiscated at the border. So me, the band, we're all going to sit down. We're going to watch some videos. We're going to be back with an interview. Miss be right back. There you go. The band My interviewing you. Coming live. Surprise party. Hey, this is Miss Stitches, and I'm coming to you live and direct down here at LTC Sessions. And I am here with Surprise, surprise Party. party. Hello. So, <laughs> Surprise Party. Um, I believe uh, we've got what? Rob, Al, Lee, oh, uh, and Jeff, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. So um, tell me a little bit, uh, where, do, where am I supposed to put this? Um, tell me a little bit about Surprise Party. Where did you guys come up with the name? There's a story. There's a very good story. But, wait, uh, I mean, the way we come up with names is you put a whole bunch on a list and you... I'm going to make a rule. Hold on. Hey. Huh. When you talk, you wear the hat. <laughs> The cone of shit. I feel special already. Mm. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. I thought we would tell it different than everyone else, but I wanted to call us the Yogurt Boys, and apparently that's not allowed. So apparently we're Did you say Yogurt to... Boys? Yeah, I think it's a really good name. Uh, is, uh, do, why Yogurt? Do you care about your digestive system? That's exactly or? why. Yeah. Okay. I'm really into lactate in general. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's important to me. We uh, we went through a lot of uh, <laughs> we went through a lot of uh, just absolutely worst band names in order to come to surprise party. Hold on, can I tell the actual That's story, please? Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say like some of the names we had to reject. Oh, yogurt so boys. Uh, reject. There's yogurt boys. Springer's back. Your mic is Poochie. working. Uh oh, I'm, I'm here to trouble you. Can shoot. talk into my chest uh -oh. if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was an <laughs> <laughs> Let's Keep talking. Go ahead. Um, there's Springer's Back, Poochie, School Panther, <laughs> Karma Kane, You're not wearing Dondi the hat. Kane. I know, I'm flagrantly breaking the rules. I, the story I like to live dangerously. Wait, what do you we think do? the story is, Al? I'll, I'll, I want to hear that. No, What's that? What is the story? Al. Oh, so, before I was even in the band, <laughs> I was sitting there in my robe one day, and... What uh, were you doing in your robe? Uh, well, I had just gotten up, and I think I was like, you know, scratching, you know, the morning scratch and everything. And like Lee sends me a me uh, I look on Surprise Party's page before it ever joined, and I see these hundreds of messages of people from the Marines. Okay. Their band name used to be the Marines. They played a show, and I think it was Jeff <laughs> who actually said something that pissed off all these Marines. I didn't say so they the sent said anything. This is not a good oh. time to offend yeah. the troops. No, really. I did not offend the troops, but apparently, like this guy was very upset. They might have. Yeah, they might have taken it the wrong say way. I something like that. But anyway, I'm not strong enough to say anything. they threatened to come to the next show and beat the crap out of this band. I, I believe their exact words was they were going to skull F our parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a pretty Marine response, yes. Yeah. Uh, very full metal jacket. Okay, so continue. Continue, Robbie. <laughs> so Lee got in a fight with one of them, and he just said, you know what? That's wonderful. So, <laughs> to who won? The, who won the fight? And I'm assuming the Marine. The Marine yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. Call in the boys' finest. So, um, how long have you guys? Uh, how long have you guys been together? Who wants to answer that one? Years? Like 2011, I want to say. 2011. Four years. Yeah. Yeah. Four Al years. Just, Al just joined. Al just joined. Today. You're, you're the newbie. Yeah. Get out of town! You just yeah. joined today. Today, today is my first day on the band. Yeah. yeah. And then you, you you popped cherry by doing this. This is my my first show. Actually, it's the first show I've ever played. It's the first time I played guitar. Today. He's uh he's hey, a he's a natural. Help. Yeah. Like he literally showed up. I'm one of those. I'm one of those idiot savants. <laughs> really. Idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> just, an idiot. Just happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just happened. So um so you guys have been together for a hot minute um which is. 
which is more than most bands, because most local bands, they're together for like a year or so, and then they break up. It usually doesn't last that oh, long. Oh, we've broken up. Yeah, you, we you broke break. up today. It's, well, it's kind of like your bandmates, you're kinda, it's kind of like a family. In some ways, it's kind of like a marriage. It depends how experimental you are as a band. Um, but uh, what do you guys see for your future? Like, what, what's your goal? What's your goal? Just uh, playing locally, or do you want to get, you know, I mean, tour? What Oscars. do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. I've, I've interviewed half the bands on yeah. Ozfest. It's possible. We're going to be on Arsenio. Because he's going to come back to us. Who, 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 yeah. who, who. <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, uh, how long how long have you been playing your instrument of choice? I played the bass guitar since seventh grade, and I've played it good for no time. Okay, all mm -hmm. right. And how long you been jamming out those drums? Um, I don't know exactly what age it was, but sometime in high school or such. Like, I want to say like tenth grade. Yeah, yeah. you started playing yeah. drums about the same time I started That's playing great. guitar. Uh, it, yeah. Did your parents love you? Yeah. Al and I used to be in a band back in high school with a really awesome name and an absolutely god awful sound. Really, really. Now, um, did, back to your parents. Did your parents support your 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 drums? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they supported me. They did not support my drums. Exactly, exactly. Um, they uh, would not allow them to eat at the dinner table with me. No, no. no. Oh, well, that's not a that's not a bad rule. And and do, did you honestly pick up? The guitar today and just today, like, yeah, baloney, yeah. baloney. No, I, I no, me and me. And I started, uh, I started when I was uh, 16, 10th grade with this guy. We were in a band called Geology, yep, wow, the study of rock, yep. Oh, wow, his dad came up with it, <laughs> really, really. Oh, okay, and and what about you, my friend? Uh, I dropped my pointy hat. Oh, god, there goes everything. The, the conch is shattered, <laughs> yes, you gotta grab it because my dress is too short. Uh, I was going to play bass, and then my dad's like, why would you want to play bass? Because if you're not in a bass, this is in seventh grade, I think. And he's like, well, if you play bass and the band breaks up, because obviously your band and your group's going to break up, which we did for different reasons, but, you know, what do you want to do? But anyway, so I played guitar. August 2001. So, did you so want a date? Because I got to. <laughs> yeah, he's that good. I do a I don't need memory. a date. But um, I was listening to your sound, and um, I hear... A, I don't know. It's got like a airy California thing to it. Um, have you ever heard of uh, Link Ray and the Raymen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You, you remind me a lot of uh, Link Ray in your styles. You know. That's a um, album, yes, it is Link Ray. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, is that what you guys are going for, or are you trying to mix some other influences in there with that? <laughs> Jeff has an answer. No, I don't. I just want to do. That. I have an answer. So. We, uh, Drop we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! No, I mean, so I've been listening to this band for like a long time and recently joined. I was a fan before I started playing. And, you know, one thing that I got a lot was the sort of power in the playing as opposed to the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. So it's like we wail on our guitars as hard as we can, you know, um, getting like that clean sound. Uh, right. Trying to push it as far, like it's chaos more, within the melodic tempo. Type exactly, of thing. Yes. Like, it's definitely I'm very melodic, too. but it's okay. like you know, just me playing with them. It's like I'm finding that I'm like wailing as hard as I can to get like tones in the guitar. Yep. And bring that out as opposed to dressing it up with a lot of different things. It's a simple sound. Right. Right. Um, Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Yeah, for sure. You know, definitely clean and simple. Want to add to that, buddy? Yeah. People have uh, actually like asked us like tons and tons like you know what we like, what our big influences are, and we kind of have just sort of a, just sort of a kind of default answer for that. It's like a big sort of trinity of three. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. Uh, Dinosaur Junior, Pavement, Ooh. and Sonic Youth. Those wow. are like our okay. kind of trinity of like noisy, fuzzy, kind of '90s sounding yep. influences. Yeah, and bit. you guys are. I, I'm starting to notice. Um, you know, as my musical influence is a little ahead of you, is mostly like the 80s and late 70s. And I'm starting to notice this big wave of mu musicians that are coming up that are influenced by 90s bands, such mm. as like Sonic Youth and Dinosaur Jr. And Godsmack. Um, no, but I, I, I'm hearing <laughs> a lot of Nirvana lately and stuff like that and the younger kids. Um, so, have you guys had a chance to get into the studio and record yet? Or. Um, have you not you you done do that yet? <laughs> yeah, we recorded an EP. We're just figuring out uh, a cover, like an album cover. 
Yep. Um, so once we figure out that, then it'll be it'll be a hundred dollars. Yeah. And we recorded it. <laughs> we recorded an air at this guy at this guy's house. Uh, Norm. Norm. Norm's the man. Lost Paradox. <laughs> if you want to record music, go to Norm. Lo Par it's either Lost Paradox or Paradox I Lost Studios. Like, uh, I just said it. Does he, does he get an actual website or? He, is he it, does. Yeah, if you search it on Google. All right, you'll find it that but way. Norm, Norm's good. Do you have um? What do you guys got for shows coming up? We have one. What is it? Next Saturday? Uh, yes, at Ward Eight. <laughs> Ward Eight, Thirsty or what first. used to be Ward Eight? Okay. And what is it now? Uh, Thirsty, Thirsty, Thirsty first. first. And for Thirsty all those Thirsty. out there that don't know where Ward Eight is, where the uh, courtyard used location. to be. Where the courtyard is. Next to the Dunkin' Donuts. Huh? Yep, da down thing. off of the good old uh, Appleton Street, you know, that whole intersection over there. Back in the day, you could go watch a show and pick up a girl on the way home. <laughs> but on that Lee note, knows all about that. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Do you want to say hi to mom, dad, your girl, get some bonus? I want to dedicate what, the second half of this set to God and uh, let him know that he's the one that I play for. The one. <laughs> you heard it. This is surprise party, and the next part of their set is getting dedicated to God. And you're here with Miss Pretty Stitches and my big buddy. Big fan of God, big fan of uh, <laughs> surprise party. Whoever the hell you guys are, <laughs> well, we don't I even know. Been out of town for the last uh, millennium. Great are you guys you addicted to sack? Are you sack addicts? I like sack huh? in space. Yeah. Yes. I didn't know sack was gonna be in space today. Yes. Yes. We're addicted to sack. <laughs> All right, man. We got to get back to the music. You guys got to get back to the music. We're back to it. Let's stop all this talking and jerking around. Yeah! yeah. Back to the set.
right, again, we're a surprise party. This is Robbie on the GAT, Alex on the GAT, Lee on the percussion GAT, and me on the bass GAT. The basic GAT. This next song is of great political importance.
this is our 20th episode. We never do this. Well, we never have a 20th episode until now. But as your producer and host, back to the stack, I would like to thank everybody in the crew personally. I want to thank the co-producer, Seth Balin, who can't be here tonight. He's taking a few, few months off. He's still going to book the bands. I want to thank all the guys in the studio. I want to thank this guy, Alec Gervais. I want to thank that guy, Aaron King. I want to thank last minute Mitchell Samillion for coming in, actually. He didn't make it. I want to thank Britt Bogner for coming in. I want to thank my lovely host, Christy uh, Pretty Stitches. Sorry, sorry, we haven't been hosting that long. And especially, you know, if you think about the crew here, you know, Seth is the brains of the operation. I try to be the spiritual guy, but Seth is the brains. Our heart is Steve Maddock. And if Steve Maddock could step up here, please. He hates us. He hates us. This is, this is, this is, this is absolute courage. The man that is always here. And when he's not, everything falls apart. And we could not do it without him. I just want to say that for the record. This man is the show. He's the heart of the show. Everybody in this room is here because of this man. And we got a special, we got a gift, we had a collection. So we all chipped in and Miss Stitches, could you bring your box over here? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Thank you. So, so it's a small token of our appreciation. But we presented you with the first ever Maximus Sack Award for Testicular Fortitude. Thanks for sticking in there. Oh, yeah. He shot Sack. This surprise party was for you, man. This song, next song it's is dedicated for, to you. It's suitable for your home. Keep it in your office. It'll ward off evil demons. Whatever you want to do. Don't, don't, just don't keep it in the sun. It'll melt. <laughs> All right. Sack's got hair. Chitty, chin, chin. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you for that little yeah. indulgence. For the Congratulations, yeah. my man. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop yelling in your faces now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's let them do what they do, man. <laughs> this is the last one. It's gonna be on our EP. It's for Norm. It's called Norm. <laughs> and it's for Steve. Or Marianne. Or Norman Marianne. Norman man. Mary Norm. <laughs>
thank you for having us